Hey guys, welcome to day three of Vita. And today, as you can see from the title, I'm gonna talk about one of the coolest things that I've ever been able to do, and that is see Anastasia on Broadway a week ago. So I saw it on the 27th of March. Uh, that means I saw it five days after it opened on pre with previews. So they have kind of a soft opening and then a grand opening. So the soft opening, I suppose you could say, was on the 23rd, I believe, of March. So I got to see it on the 27th. I was crazy excited. I had no idea to, what to expect. That's the thing when you see a musical so early on is, I don't know, you don't really have um, a chance to hear the soundtrack. You don't get a chance to see any clips from like Tony performances. So I went into this totally blind. All I knew was that I loved the movie and I could not wait to see this one. First up, a lot of people might be curious. A lot of people have asked me, how did I get to see Anastasia just a few days after it opened? I bought tickets in November, like right right at the beginning of November, I think it was. I'm not 100% sure what day, but in November I bought tickets. So that's the thing. That's how I got to see Hamilton as well. You, you just buy tickets early and you buy them in advance. So you, at this point, you probably can't expect to buy a ticket for Anastasia tomorrow if you just want to pay face value for the tickets. Just buy it in advance. They've already released tickets for the next year. So obviously it's doing very well already. I'm very excited to see where it'll go. Another thing that might be of interest to you is I sat in the third or fourth to last row in the theater, I still had an incredible seat. The Broadhurst Theater where Anastasia is is not the biggest theater in the world. Um, so. Any seat that you get is going to be a good seat, so it was it was definitely a great seat. I think it was row H um, in the mezzanine, so great seats, awesome, awesome show. I got there with my friend Haley, maybe 7.15, the show started at 8. We expected doors to open at 7.30, normal show. We just wanted to get in line early, so we had more time in the theater to look at merch and all of that sort of thing. So we arrive at the broader 7.15, the line is already like three theaters down like for those of you who don't really know the area if you're not familiar the Broadhurst Theater is kind of in the middle of a block on one side of that block is Times Square and the other is 8th so basically the line started at the Broadhurst Theater stretched almost all the way into Times Square like that's how crazy the line was and like everyone had a seat already but everyone just was so excited to be there everyone got there so early it was it's the craziest experience I've ever had for a show. So that's before the show, then we got in there. I didn't get any merch, but my friend Haley got this really pretty gold tote bag. It was gold and glittery, and I, looking back, I wish I'd gotten it, but I didn't. But um, maybe I'll get it online when they start listing their merch there. But really, really pretty stuff. Really excited, just the coolest atmosphere in there. Everyone was just so excited to be there. And we sat down, we got our seats, we were looking around, looking at our playbills, which I'll show you later, and then the show started, and you guys, I think it's the best Broadway show I've ever seen. And I don't say that lightly. I it's my it's at the very least my favorite Broadway show I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of shows, and I'm not putting down the other shows I've seen, but Anastasia, it just had this remarkable quality to it where I my memories of seeing Anastasia, obviously most of you uh, probably have the same memories where you saw it in your childhood, the movie, and it was just this sort of fantastical fairy tale that did have some roots in reality and it just was this amazing experience and you kind of lose that ability to have that ex those experiences as you grow up, but I had that experience again. I had that you know, that ability to believe in fairy tales for a second. And it, it was just remarkable. And um, a few things. One, the cast was, everyone was amazing. I just, everyone was amazing. It was so perfectly cast. The girl who plays Anastasia, Oh my gosh, she was amazing. Her vocals were breathtaking. She was so sweet and charming on stage. Dimitri, like who did not have a crush on Dimitri when they were younger and watched that movie? Happy to announce that'll continue once you see this stage show. Everyone was so good. And they did, I will say, one difference from um, the, the movie to the stage show is they introduce a new character to replace Rasputin. And Honestly, Rasputin's song in the movie is amazing. It scared me as a child, but I listened to it recently, and it's it's really great. Um, and they did 
pick some of the melodies from that song and use them in other songs throughout the musical. So they did kind of keep that in there, keep the spirit of that song in there, which I thought was really nice. But essentially, they replaced Rasputin with a more realistic character. Um, not that Rasputin's, Rasputin was a real person. We all know that. But uh, the mov movie Rasputin's not quite accurate. Uh, they replaced Rasputin with this character named Gleb, who is the son of a soldier, one of the soldiers that shot the Romanov family originally. Uh, so he's kind of trying to finish the job. So that's the new character. Really interesting. Um, incredible performance from him as well. He was almost too likable though. That's the only thing. But it was so, so great. Another thing I want to talk about is the set design. You guys, if you've seen this show, please comment below so we can have a moment talking about this set design because it integrated video in a way I have never seen before. I think the way I've seen video integrated is in Newsies. They kind of put up some headlines, they put up some writings, and when um, Catherine is typing, they show like the letters popping up on the screen behind her. So imagine that times a thousand. Like the set design was largely based on the video. And I, I don't want to like spoil too many things, so if people see it, they kind of still have that experience I did. But the way they integrate it was remarkable. Um, this isn't really a spoiler because if you've seen the movie, you know the train. Uh, the train scene happens where they get the papers to leave Russia. Uh, the way they did that was it was sort of like a skeleton of a train, like it was a really minimalist sort of set. And they, uh, it was a train, it was on a sort of lazy Susan type thing in the center of the stage. And the train was there and it would move sort of as the scene would change, they would move the train around. And in the background it was train tracks and as the train would move, the background would move to, and I'm not explaining it properly, but if you've seen it, you know that it was like the most breathtaking thing. And I'm not going to spoil it, but if you've seen it, the scene at the end of the first act is Journey to the Past. And at the end of it, the way they used the video, I gasped. Like there were audible gasps in the theater because of how cool it was. And like everyone cried, everyone around me was like sniffling towards the end. Just brilliantly acted, brilliantly performed. All the songs were amazing. Like clearly I'm still in shock from how good it was. And then um, they did add a lot of new music that definitely is something that they did that I'm really excited about. I wasn't really sure how I would feel about it because I was like, what are they going to add? Is it going to feel natural? And it did. It definitely did. They added extra verses to some of the songs and I cannot wait for the soundtrack. I think it has a June release. I don't know if we know the day yet, but last I checked, I just heard June for the soundtrack and I definitely will be buying it. Hopefully they release it on vinyl so I can get that too. Um, but I, I just, I can't put into words what an experience it was. I cried multiple times. I cried when they did their curtain call. Honestly, when uh, Christy came out and plays Anastasia, the look on her face made me start crying because she just looked so amazed and grateful almost for everyone and she deserves like every ounce of success she gets because oh my goodness, she was amazing. Uh, Everyone, oh my goodness. So at the end of the show, after the curtain call, basically I looked at my friend Haley and I was like, go, 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 go. And we ran outside, kind of. We didn't like run, but we rushed outside, ran up to the barricade outside the stage door, and good thing we did because not a minute after we got out there, hundreds of people were around us trying to get to the barricade. So for those of you who don't know, after a Broadway show, even if you're seeing it not on Broadway, like on tour or something, usually you can stage door and what that is, is just waiting outside the stage door to meet the cast, get them to sign your playbill, sometimes take pictures. Now we ran out there and they had a barricade that was I think like twice as long as most like barricades I've seen. So the cast will come out the stage door, they'll walk down the line, sign uh, stuff if they want to and then they can leave. So that's kind of how it's set up. We get out there, we line up. Oh my goodness, it was so crowded. It's the craziest stage door experience I've ever had and so good we got out there when we did because we were right up front, right in front of the stage door, which was very, very lucky because it was chaos. We didn't have to wait for more than a few minutes before people started coming out. Oh my goodness. I people were shocked when they were coming out like the cast and crew when they were coming out the look on their faces when they saw how many people were there it was just shock like they didn't realize how many people would be there almost but I don't know there's part of something really special so they should get used to it because there's gonna be people there for a while um, so my playbill 
almost the entire cast, you guys. The guy who played Vlad, who was in Gossip Girl, I found out later, but he just left. I felt, I, I mean, I get it. You can't be too mad about that, but I, I don't know. I was kind of sad, but it's fine. I met pretty much everybody. Um, when Derek, who plays Dimitri, came out, literally all the girls just started screaming. It was like a, a member of One Direction came out of that door. It was really funny. Um, they were all so nice. Every single one of them took like a minute with every person and they like they I handed it to them and I said thank you you did an amazing job like I paid them a compliment told them how incredible they were and they l looked in my eye and said thank you for coming like every single person said thank you and they were just nice people. They were really nice. So that's the story of how I saw Anastasia on Broadway last week and it was just honestly the best theater going experience I've ever had. All I can think about is how much I want to go see it again. Um, and normally, you know, you get that right after a Broadway show. I don't know that like high and then that crash. It's like a lot of people know it is post-concert depression, but you get it with Broadway shows too. Um, but normally, normally you get it, you crash and then you move on with your life. I can't move on. It was so good. I definitely can't wait until they list their merch online because I'm going to buy all of it. And um, like all I want in life, honestly, is one of those music boxes and you can get Get them on eBay or Etsy and I just can't justify $80 for it but one, maybe one day I'll buy that for myself because you know I, I love Anastasia I loved that movie I love this musical more than anything and I just think it's really interesting they also made more allusions to the actual history like I think by now everyone knows that Anastasia did unfortunately die with her family and um, but there was rumors that that she um, or her sister one of the Romanov daughters had survived and that's that's something that really happened and people did pretend to be her uh, and it's just fascinating I can't I don't know it's just a really interesting thing so I'm gonna go but I had a great time seeing this musical and I, I don't know I'm like back up talking about it like the excitement's back so definitely stay tuned for June when I definitely will be uploading a review of the album probably release it on vinyl please Anastasia people, if you're not watching, but if you were, please release it on vinyl. I would die, and then I have to go see it again to get everyone to sign it, so please, <laughs> please. We'll see you guys tomorrow, because if I don't stop now, I will just keep talking about how good Anastasia was, because it was really good. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.